Not too many are serving it up southern style, like Aunt Mary's Cafe. Biscuits and gravy. The best I've ever had. All right, guys. This is just comfort food. Here you go. They have succotash here? They do. Enjoy. Sort of down home with a southern flair. Order up. Sort of like owner Jack Stewart's family. I'm from Texas. Everybody else is from Tennessee and Georgia. Including his favorite aunt. Is that Aunt Mary's picture over there? It is. The inspiration for the place. Shrimp and grits in the window. And the menu. Mm. It is a real heavy southern emphasis. And he'll go southern on just about any. Anything. All right, ladies. Even this English classic. Bubble and squeak. Smashed potatoes and cabbage. And this is the southern version. Potato cakes with greens in them, with gravy over the top. Dude, greens for breakfast? They are awesome. Now what are we on to, boss? This is the southern greens for the bubble and squeak. Okay, so the butter. Chopped onions. Garlic. Nice turn. Water. We we'll load that in there. Nectar of the gods. Yes. Tabasco. Worcestershire. The other nectar of the gods. A little cider. Cider vinegar. Molasses. There we go. Pepper. Salt. Now here come the greens. These are collards. Collard greens. And now we got mustard starting to creep there in. There you are. Pressing with the tongs. Do massage therapy with those. Cover it with parchment paper. And let those go for how long? Hour and a half, thereabouts. Look at those bad boys cooked down. Ho, ho, ho. Shouldn't we taste those? Love greens. Never did until Triple D, and I love them. Mm. Wow, those are greens with attitude. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now we're doing the pot liquor gravy. You know what pot liquor is, right? Well, I've known a couple, but uh, you know, usually not invited over much after that. Into the pot. In the cook off of the collard greens. We're making gravy out of this. This is it. <laughs> Just bring this back up, add a roux to the boiling pot liquor. That's a 50 50 flour butter? Yeah. Let it simmer 30 minutes. Okay. Let me hit it with some cream. What? You're jumping the gun. Stir that in. I'll try it. I want to wear that. I want to have that as my Halloween outfit. What are you? I'm Paul Liquor Gravy. <laughs> now we strain this off. So quick. So what's that getting served on? The uh, bubble patty. Now, I don't know if you remember those greens we just made. No, what greens? We're going to cut these up. I better know what you're doing. <laughs> we got potatoes, and we're okay. going to mash them up a little bit. Butter? So we got butter, a little salt, add the greens, and then we just mix them in. The dish is like Eggs Benedict. Gone Tennessee. Gone Tennessee. Pan fry them up. Nice place, man. Judges come up with a nine. And what is the simmering water on the stove for? Well, you got to have the, something to go on top. Poach a couple of eggs. Look at that. Now let's plate up this bubble and squeak. Eggs are always trying to crack the party. Extra greens. There you go. Kind of make up for the eggs. Yeah, and hit a little pot like a gravy on it. Be shy with that now. And finish it with a biscuit. Set oven still on. Wow, trick eggs. Look at that pot liquor gravy right there and those greens. Mmm, this is outstanding. Really good, man. Those are great greens. Mix them with a little potato, put a little pan fry on them, then hit them with this pot liquor gravy. The sign out front should just say, House of Pot Liquor Gravy. Mmm. <laughs> You're a mean, lean, green making machine. <laughs> Bubble and squeak. Very flavorful. The potato cakes are particularly delicious. But how about those collard greens? Mm. They are amazing. You know, stuff like that's a little bit hard to find out here. It's little. 